Hey everybody, this is 3D here doing a quick video tutorial on the preview number two. Just going to go over some new UI stuff uh, because we did change how the UI looks like and hopefully this video helps you kind of figure out uh, where to get your information, how to get to places, um, and some of the bugs that we know and that we're currently working on. So the very first thing I want to say is uh, people might be noticing, for me on my screen, you can you can see people's name tags. Uh, that's because I'm working in the editor. But for most of you who have the installer or the or the client, you won't actually see other users' name tags. This is a known issue, and uh, we are working on it. Um, if you guys look at the very top here, you'll notice that these are the emoticons, okay, um, or action. Um, this is kind of like the hot bar from the old client. So uh, right now, none of them actually work. Okay, so we, we, we know this, um, but there's just two examples of, of, of actions on there, but in the future, that's where we're going to be putting it. The next button is the friend, the friendship button, and here we know that you can send a request, and you can send a request for friends if you just type in friend, and then the person's name, so friend name here without the quotations, okay, and um, what will happen is they'll actually get a request. But we also know that right now the UI, um, it's a little bit finicky. Uh, there's no add or accept the button yet, but uh, it should be there. But something, I guess, uh, the last push that we did, um, I guess, didn't push through the accept button. So that is a known issue as well. And then here is the information button. Uh, it's kind of weird that it's information since, like, there's this I over here. But it's uh, it's kind of like a the way I look at it, it's like a GPS kind of thing. It's like a little pin. And here you can find the, the places you can go. Uh, this isn't very necessary anymore since you can get to those places through the new transport center. Uh, you know, you can go to the passion pit here, you can go to the beach, the theater, and the new apartment here. You can go to the corner street from this portal and the train station from this portal. And let's see here. So let's get into the customization. So this is the customization window where you can customize your avatar okay uh, kind of pretty straightforward what uh, people might not know is when you do customize your avatar and you click on save so I, I might as well do this right now as an example you're not going to see your avatar change until you change into a different region so make sure you keep that in mind that when you do change your avatar change regions and you'll see your new avatar um, next on the list is your Zabby property manager and when you click here and just just a heads up sometimes it might take a while for the for the windows to pop up and that's because it's trying to grab the information from the servers so give it some time uh, if it doesn't pop up in like five seconds then go back and click it again so here you can create your new Zabby uh, I'm gonna create a <coughs> the new apartment which has all the fancy trimmings on it uh, with the new shaders, the speckler, um, all, all the fancy stuff. Whereas the other f five that's in there um, that don't have the the new bracket on it, um, they're just using they're they're literally converted from our old client. So it's kind of like a proof of concept that you can that we can take old maps and you can just convert it, and we can convert it into the into the new system. So. So this is the, the the new apartment here, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of, of the prop editor. Uh, right away, you'll notice that um, you have this kind of tool, these kind of tools that just automatically pop up, and this means that you're that you're in editing mode for your region. Um, so things are a little bit different this time around. Uh, you have your editing, um, your editing scene, and then your publish scene. So this way, when someone's in your publish scene. Uh, they don't see you working on, you know, your your construction of your zabbies um, until you actually push it. So I'm in the, the editing scene right now. So from here you can, I'll explain the different icons. So this um, icon right here, the arrow, uh, removes you from your avatar, which allows you to kind of free roam around when you're doing your edits. Okay. Uh, when you press it again, it goes right. It snaps back to your avatar. Uh, here is the inventory. So, 
So what's really cool this time around in our prop editor is you can just drag and drop uh, your props. And obviously we're missing a bunch of key features such as, you know, the search button and things like that. But uh, what's really cool is, like I said, you can just drag and drop. And be patient with it. It's, like I said, it's grabbing the information from the server. So it does take a couple of seconds for the, the props to actually show up. So now you have the prop on the floor. Um, you can press on the the button here, the arrow button, to see the pivot point of the object. Okay, and once you snap and click on the uh, this icon, um, it will show up what you can do with this with this bike. And you can move it around, drag your mouse around, and it'll snap on the floor, onto the walls, into the ceilings. Okay, um, if you want to rotate it, if you have the left mouse button held down and you scroll with your wheel okay you make sure you have to make sure that you keep your left uh, mouse button held down and you scroll the wheel it will rotate now we also know that right now it doesn't rotate in increments of 15 so obviously if you rotate like this and you wanted it to be like 270 you can just go into here and you can type 270 and it should should work it didn't look like it did much there but it did um, and from here, you can delete the prop, right? And it takes time, again, like I said, for it to refresh. So, so that's how you delete stuff, okay? Um, so let me just move this aside. And that's another thing that we didn't have in the old client is being able to move all your, your tabs as efficiently. Um, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so... That is your scene and object. This is your object window. Okay, this button right here. This is your inventory button. This is your scene button. Um, so from here, I don't actually know if this works yet. Um, I'm scared to try it. I think it works. Uh, I don't know if you can create your own your own region yet, but I'm I'm afraid to press this because it might close. The, the client so I'll, I'll do this last but here you can just click on publish and when you go into your published region um, it should have all of your changes so I'm just gonna test this out right now and I'm just gonna drag this sofa on there and now you have the sofa right and if you press V it will trigger it will show you all the the nodes um, the center pivots or the pivot points I should say for the object okay so just toggling V and if you have these on and then you press and you click on it and you press a W you'll notice that now you can move it and if you press um, E you'll see the rotation okay you see the rotation you can move things around and once you know you're all done, just uh, what I like to do is I like to publish the scene. I like to <coughs> I put this on test, and I'm just gonna click publish, and we're gonna see what happens here. <coughs> okay, so me trying to publish uh, actually crashed the client. So for now, don't don't press that publish button. Um, we'll get that fixed. Um, I think. So that was the, the property management button that we went through and the prop editor. Uh, the last two actually don't work right now. So don't, uh, don't worry about that. This isn't working. The settings isn't working. And here's some chat stuff you guys might be interested in. Um, now when you private message someone, so if I just whisper, if I whisper somebody, What's going to happen is um, though their name will actually pop into here, and then you'll see a bunch of a bunch of people's private messages. So uh, that's something really cool as well. And um, I think that's pretty much it for me going over the UI. Uh, I should probably close that because you're not going to be seeing that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the preview, and if there's any big updates, I'll be updating the video.